You got your source, slip land, and some and some. You got your source, slip land, and some and some. You got your source, slip land, and some Building with coils is one of the major ways to create a hollow form out of clay. So today we're going to be making clay coil pots. To get started, you're going to need to pull off a piece of clay and shape it into whatever shape you want the bottom of your coil pot to be. Um, I know that I want mine to be round, so I rolled it into a ball and I'm pressing it flat on this little wooden paddle. I don't want it to get stuck on the table, so we're going to be building on a flat piece of wood. Now it's time to start creating the coils. Coils are like long snakes made out of clay. So you can see I started with a piece of clay sort of in the shape of a hot dog. I'm rolling it on the table. Notice how my fingers are spreading apart as I roll towards the outsides of the coil. If your coil gets too long, you can break it in half and keep rolling the two pieces separately. But basically you want a long, even snake made out of clay that is about the width of your pinky. Once your coil is ready, you hopefully will remember from other clay projects that whenever you're attaching two pieces of clay, you need to score, slip, blend, and smooth. I'm using a toothbrush that's dipped in slip because the toothbrush does the scoring for me. So it's sort of scratching up the clay so that the slip can fill in the cracks and create a better bond between the two pieces of clay. So now I'm taking my coils and I'm going to start building circles and coiling them up until I create the shape of my pot. Once I get to the end of one coil, I'm going to score and slip and I'm going to start attaching my next coil right where the last one left off. So I've scored and slipped. I'm going to smooth out this coil and then continue building up the form of my pot. Once my pot is about the height of four coils, it's time to blend and smooth. So I already did the scoring and the slipping, and now I'm gonna blend those layers together. I'm using a popsicle stick and trying to hold my pot together while I scrape those layers together. I'm going to go all the way around the outside of my pot. If you want the coils to show, you might decide to do your blending on the inside of the pot, but either the outside or the inside, you really want to smooth those coils together. If you don't, when the clay starts to dry, it shrinks. And even though your pot looks like it's all nice and stuck together, when it shrinks, it will start to pull away from itself. So those coils that look like they're attached will start to come apart. So remember, you are scoring, slipping, blending, and then I'm going to use a, my fingers, and I might want to dip one of my fingers in some water to do the smoothing. Once you have those four layers strongly attached and blended together, you're going to start adding some more coils. You don't always have to add your coils in a circle going around your pot. You can actually use them to create some decorative elements. So this time when I add the coils, I'm going to bend them to create a little series of hills and valleys to make a decorative element that goes around my pot. Just don't forget, you have to keep scoring, slipping, blending, and smoothing. The coils like this can be a really nice way to decorate the rim of your pot, but I know that I want to make a lid for this one, so I'm going to keep going. I don't want to take up too much more of your time because I want you to have time to work, but I want to show you where I ended up. So I added a few more coils around the top, and this time I smoothed on the inside because I wanted to see those nice little lines where the coils go together. And then I made a lid for my pot. I just rolled out another ball of clay and flattened it into a pancake and used some coils to decorate the lid. But every time I put two pieces of clay together, I remember to score, slip, blend, and smooth. All right, now it's your turn. You're gonna start by making a pancake for your base. Don't forget to build on a wooden paddle. Don't forget to score slip, blend, and smooth. And I can't wait to see where this project takes you. Good luck.